spiritual gifts, more faith, more hope, more peace, more love, things of that nature. Not trying to get more money, more cars, and stuff like that. Amen. And that's Amen. the wrong mentality. And that's, that's not the new man. That's the old man. If you still come to church like that, you still are not saved. Amen. You got to think the way God wants you to think. In righteousness and true holiness. Amen. True separation. Amen. See, a lot of these quasi- Pentecost churches, Amen. they separate on some areas, but not all. They want to wear the, the veil just in the church only. Mm -hmm. But no, you can't just separate from the false church to the true church with the veil. You got to separate Amen. from the saved and the unsaved people oh, out there Jesus. so they can see a difference. Amen. And it says here in St. John 6 and 26, and Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me, not because you saw miracles, right. see, not for spiritual values, but because Amen. you did eat of the loaves, the food, mm -hmm. and were filled. Labor not for the meat which perishes. Yeah. Yeah. That car going to rust away. I don't care how bad you want a Bentley, BMW, whatever. And one day, it's, even that car going to stop running on you. But for that meat which endureth unto yeah. everlasting life. The yeah. word be preached day after day. Mm -hmm. Preached through song, through testimony. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just love coming to church because I'm getting filled that way. Yeah. Not with some natural glory to bring it. Which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for he, him hath God the Father sealed. Mm -hmm. And I also want to take you back over to uh, uh, chapter 5 and verse 39. God tell you to search the scriptures. Yes. Search the scriptures. Even the people out there in the, in the, in the um, YouTube audience, our bishop always say, go and search it out for yourself. Amen. Always tell you to do that. Amen. Because why the Bible teach that? For in them you think you have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. And you will not come to me that you might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you that ye have not the love of God in you. And so many people don't have the love of God in you. Because if they had the love of God, my goodness, they'll receive this word. Oh, really? I got to wear a veil? Oh, thank you. Oh, you know what? You know, I've I, I learned I know how to celebrate Christmas, Easter, all those crazy holidays. I'm so thankful. I'm going to waste my money, be stressed out. I'll be so happy. This is the love of God. I mean, I'm serious. I'm serious, and I don't have to worry about the way you just try to buy new clothes and keep up with the fashion on today. Thank God for that. Humility and dress. No, because why? I'm going to say John chapter 3. Because this world, they're, dark, they're in darkness. They hate the light. They hate anything that's true. And trust me, they'll give you a look. If a look can kill, it will kill you. Amen. But you go on and you smile in Jesus' name, and you still try to witness to them anyway, because they people who need the help the most. Yeah. And it says and in verse 19 and 20, well, I'm going to go back to verse 18. And he that believeth on him is not not condemned, but he that believe it not is condemned already. And when you believe in the Trinity, you're not believing in Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Amen. Now, I'm going to tell you that. You're Amen. not believing in Jesus Christ. You believe in something. I don't know what it is. And how dare you say, oh, my pastor study. Well, he's not studying right. He's not studying this Bible. Amen. Because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. The only Savior, Jesus Christ. That's it. Then it's like only, how can it be three? And this is the condemnation. They hate to be judged. You got to be willing to be judged, or how you know if you win righteousness or not. Yes. And if you are, you should be happy and say thank you, thank yes. you for the correction. That's what God said. He chastens those that He loves. Amen. You should be happy. God said, get you on the right track on the day. Amen. I, I, I am. Amen. I thank God for any correction I get. Jesus is not a God that loves you. He'll let you keep going on your hair a long way. Amen. And it says, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world with meaning Jesus. Amen. And men love darkness, things of this world, the devilish things, rather than the light, Jesus, because their deeds were evil. Amen. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither come unto the light, lest his deeds should be what? Reproved or exposed. I don't want you to know about that. Don't, don't, don't tell me anymore. You know, I had enough. You know, people always want to try to tell you that because they know once they hear the truth, they're responsible for the truth that they hear. But I tell you that I, I thank God for the truth I hear at the True Light Church because we are a true church. We speak the truth all the time. We live the truth. That's why we got power on today. You can keep going and being in these churches all this time. But when you need a miracle, you're not going to get it. Amen. When when you need that prayer, you're not going to get an answer. Amen. When, when you need uh, some finances, a break, you're not going to get it. Amen. You're going to be an evicted. I mean, God will keep putting you through this and this and this until you say, Lord, help me find you. And then he's going to keep that. The world's constantly being tested all the time. They don't know that, but they are. They're being tested to first try to seek the Savior. Yeah. Then you're going to be tested once you come into the church to stay with the Savior until the end. Right. But I tell you, no, this ain't no light thing. It's not a joke. Man. And you have to watch out for yourself as you watch out for your brother in Christ. Man. So your actions can affect someone. Not to say you're responsible. That's why you got to watch yourself. Because it can affect somebody. Maybe had that not happened, then they wouldn't stumble and fail. So we, it's a very uh, a, a loving thing here. And I like how Evangelist, just Evangelist Evans have brought that out about the love here. You know, when God comes, he comes with peace. He comes with love. And Amen. you should be happy with it on today. And you have a, a calmness about your life. Right. And no stress. We yes. stress free here at Choo Choo. Right. 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 Right.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, God, for the uh, panel thus far. They've brought out beautifully how how it is to, be, to clean yourself and to become a new man. And I just want to add, in order for you to be a true holiness church, you have to have a true holiness pastor. Amen. And we have a true holiness pastor here who teaches us how to be holy and who teaches our church how to be holy. And I would like to go to Titus chapter 1 verses 5 through 7 yeah. I want to just tell the YouTube world what it is that a qualifications of a bishop is Amen. Yeah. for this cause left I thee in, in Crete that thou sh shouldest set in order the things that are wanting and ordain elders in every city as I had appointed thee if any be blameless, the husband of one wife, Amen. not one, not two wives, Amen. three wives, one wife, a mistress here, and a girlfriend Amen. over there, and a secretary Amen. behind here, mm -hmm. having faithful children, Amen. not accused of riot or unruly, for a bishop must be blameless Amen. as Amen. the steward of God, not self-willed, not Amen. soon angry, not given to wine, oh. no, no striker. <laughs> Not given to filthy lucre. Amen. And we have that in Bishop Walker. Oh, yes. Bishop Walker is flawless to me. I, I don't on, see, man. there is nothing wrong with, I mean, he has one wife who I believe he's been married to over 50 something years. Yes. Yes. I've never seen him angry. Amen. I've never seen him upset. I've never seen him not return a phone call. We, we have we have the best here. We have we have we have a, a bishop that's that's blameless. We can't. I no one can say that we saw Bishop Walker at Walmart with a cigarette dangling from his mouth. No one could dare say that about a bishop. He's got testimony. After testimonies, that's why God has healed him of heart attacks. That's why his wife has been healed of brain aneurysm. There's power in this church. And the, the power starts with Bishop Walker. And, and as, as he preaches, we listen. So we know how to, to be a true holiness church. This is a holiness church. There's no pretending here. We're not, there's no... There's no ashtrays when you leave out of here. There's no liquor bottles in our glove compartments once right, we get in our car. We, we, we have husbands and wives here that don't have mistresses over across town somewhere. There, I mean, we have a perfect example here. There's a, there, there's a perfect example here. And in, like I said, in order for you to have a true holiness church, take a look at your past. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to reiterate on what Evangelist Smith and Evangelist Brennan had just said Amen. about being a, a true church and being under a true pastor. Yeah. Amen. You won't be able to know what it is to be holy and have a, a new mind and soul if you don't have a true pastor. Amen. Because, uh, like the Bible says, I'm going to go to Matthew 6 and 33. Amen. And it says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and yeah. all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. Like most pastors, pastors, as we know, like she was mentioning, the Baptists and whoever else's shoe fit, you better wear. They preach for money. Yes. Because they want new cars, they want three or four homes, they got to have an airplane, uh, they got to have alligator shoes, the, the first lady got to have an outfit a new outfit every Sunday. She can't be caught in the same one twice. Amen. This is not what Jesus is saying is righteous and putting on a new man. This is, um, he says to preach his word first and then Amen. everything else will be added unto you. And it may not necessarily be three or four homes, one here, one in New York, one in California, or one Amen. wherever. Amen. He'll give you what you, uh, what you need. That's right. Not Amen. always what you want, but Amen. what you need. Hallelujah. And that is, that's all you need. Is what he gives you. A roof over your head, yes. food, clothing, yes. water. What else? A job. Amen. What else? You pay your bills. Amen. What else do you need? Amen. If you want more, the Bible also says greedy is a sin. I mean, a glutton is a sin. Amen. If you have uh, two or three homes and people in your congregation don't even have one. Preach. Preach. What does that mean? Well, that doesn't mean that you're, uh, I wouldn't want you to be my pastor, hallelujah, Preach. taking my money and spending it for yourself uh, to promote your own self, hallelujah, Amen. and to grandize your own self. I, I would